Hi everyone, it's me, Pluto. Well, in the Canada lands, it's been a pretty tough week as more as more red zones have popped up in some provinces and stricter measures are being enforced again for this third wave. And for sure, everybody's getting really tired. So, so, so I thought maybe some thinking box distractions could be really good. And so we're gonna have a random facts Friday. For instance, it, it, it's April 2nd, and did you know you have 364 days left to plan your April Fool's revenge on your trickster mom? <laughs> okay, may, maybe that's only important to me. So so, so when two-leggeds are born, did, did you know that you don't have any kneecaps? Nope, those, pa those patella bones, they don't even develop until you're between two and six years old. And then, uh-oh, SpaghettiO, they seem to start falling apart after 60. Also, did you know about Walter Arnold? He, he was the first person to ever get a speeding ticket. He, he lived in the village of Paddock Wood in the Kent lands, in the UK lands, and, and, and on January 28th in, in 1896, good old Walter was going four times the speed limit. Well, 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 the speed limit was two, and Walter was booming along in his bends at eight miles an hour. That poor copper had to chase him down on his bicycle to issue him a ticket for four pounds, seven pence. Oh, and how about this one? The Elysia Marganita, which is, which, which is a, particular, a particular flavor of sea slug, that fat ocean worm can survive being decapitated. It's totally true. After their body gets cut off, which could happen from a lobster claw, their severed head can just start nibbling away on some algae. Whoa, that is some amazeball snacking dedication. Also, after about 20 days, some of those sea slugs, they could grow themselves a whole new body. Those guys, they don't have a cerebral cortex, so, so, so they don't process pain, which is maybe why they can just continue to snack after a crab attack. Okay, here, here are some random number facts. Did you know that every odd number has the letter E in it? <laughs> I know some of you are already starting to spell check that. Also, 40, it's the only number that is spelled with the letters arranged in alphabetical order. Oh, and I learned a really fun anagram, okay? An anagram, that's a word or a phrase that's formed by rearranging the exact letters of another word or a phrase. So try this one. If you spell out the phrase, 11 plus 2, you can, jumble the, you can jumble the letters around and you could spell 12 plus 1. And guess what else? Bo bo both those two phrases, they have 13 letters and they both add up to 13. <laughs> That's a pretty cool party trick. Okay, everyone, so, so lots of people, you're celebrating your Easter weekend and, and, and Mom and I were just whooshing you lots of purple and yellow happy thoughts. And here are two Easter facts that you could share. What do you call 10 Easter bunnies marching backwards? A receding hairline. <laughs> what, what, what do you get when you cross an Easter bunny with an onion? A bunion. Okay, everyone, heads high, hearts open. You just have to keep surfing that third wave until we all get safely to the beach. Have a great weekend.